<laughs> I don't know why I'm smiling like that. Check it out, everybody. Check it out, everybody. It's Casper your best time. Tonight, you know what is happening. Um, before I bring Casper on, guys, put on some quick fire questions that you want. I've thought of some, and I'm still making more. But you know what it is tonight on BET Channel 129. We have the very first episode of season four. Big, no, I was a big banger. Big episode <laughs> with uh, Casper your We, Mr. Philip himself, the best looking rapper in the country, the cutest motherfucker on earth. What else did he say? What else did he call himself? Call himself a couple of things. Um, I just thought of another question. Do you have any quick fire questions? You are, guys, you guys are asking silly things. Let me just bring him on. Okay, he's not here yet. I don't see him yet. Ooh, I see baby mamas in the his eh? babes, don't go. Hi, Todd. Bumsy, no one invited you here, but thank you for the hairstyle. Hi, Mateo. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Just Mamelo. Where's Casper? I just phoned him to check if he's ready. Okay. Uh... I'm just waiting for him to join. But guys, please make sure that your alarms or you're recording the show or you're ready for the episode at 10 p.m. on BET tonight. It's going to be really amazing. Um, it's It was a really, really special episode because we shot it in also a really special way. It's the social distancing edition. We're kind of loosening the rules on that a little bit uh, because obviously the levels have reduced, but we are still being very safe. Where is this guy? Here, Anna. Oh, there he is. Oh, you've been commenting. You have to request. Why is it not showing that you're in the... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I have to work. How? Hello, Puti. You think money light check me as in the hell lighting? Thing one. No, I mean I'm 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 not home. <laughs> go, go on, Joe. I was just teasing you because I just know you like having perfect things. You even serve us uh, I was walking around subject. the room actually here. Yeah, the lighting is not the one. No, but you're so cute. I give you the best looking rapper in the country. So I, understand. I think I'm gonna make that thing a thing more than you. I think I've said it maybe twelve times today online. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have the t-shirt. It's the I think you must make t-shirts for other people to wear. I'll wear it. I wouldn't mind wearing it. Anyway, I friend, congratulations. Yeah. Last time I saw you, Thank the you. album wasn't out, and you weren't a daddy. You weren't a real daddy yet. How, how? What's What's the difference now? You actually have a real Simba, like a real Simba now. That's crazy. That's mad, right? The last time I saw you, you're like, must be a different nigga from the last time I saw you when we did the interview. You know, I, I don't, I was prepared. Like, I don't, nah, I don't think I'm a different guy. I, I, I was, I was already like mentally like, you know, a father. You know what I mean? I was already that guy. Like today I spent the whole day buying shit for him and his mom. Like, the whole day. And then you get home. No, this one is wrong. I have to go again. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 uh it's a it's a dope adventure, you know, and I wanna be so good at it. And you you know, um yeah, so uh today I did well. I think it's a it's a, it's something I wanna take one day at a time. I'm excited about how this journey for you and the way that you're handling it is gonna affect fatherhood in the entire country altogether. Do you know Facts, what I mean? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maybe somebody like, said that to me. Somebody said that to me. He's like, yo, man, you don't understand like what you what you're doing and how it's gonna help young fathers to take pride in this. I wasn't even thinking like that. I was just happy because it's something that you know I've been wanting for a while, and and me and the mother planned it. So 
I wasn't thinking of the influence of like, you know, to 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 young black fathers and make it a, you know, not make it a cool thing, but I get what you're saying. Let me not try and explain it. Next thing, they misquote me, and then it's like, hey, they're yeah, no, they must feel like so now you are the you, you are the benchmark of fatherhood. Yeah. No, we're just saying he's being positive and encouraging. Yeah. And in the future, just what things is the benchmark of fatherhood? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a standard. The, we're just saying yeah. he's dope, mm-hmm. and hopefully. Mm-hmm having people like you will make sure that the energy that you're bringing and it just like with your music we'll have a fa- we'll have a, a a generation of kids who don't know what being fatherless is like i think that's something i really think will change our country and the world a little you know, bit hopefully move fast do my part huh i'll do my part in trying you know what i mean you can do it. All right, cool. So guys, everybody I see everybody's asking some really controversial questions here. This is not behind the story. This is us just reminding you guys to watch the show later at 10 p.m. channel 129 where Casper drops too many bombs, but it's it's going to be worth your while to watch. I want to ask him some quick fire questions that I didn't get to ask him on the day. Um and I'm going to start with some fun ones. Where's oh, I didn't have my iPad here. Hold on they're not here actually it's fine i'll just remember what i can remember the first one i want to ask i know the answer to this one but i have to ask it anyway quick fire with new best beyonce or rihanna rihanna why Facts. Rihanna so much? but you know what you know what it's 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 it's, it's tricky cuz i'm a big beyonce fan like in terms of the music but rihanna is like like has been like my celebrity crush for like a long time so I I just say Rihanna cuz like yeah cuz of the vibes <laughs> but Beyoncé like I like I'm a big Beyoncé music fan. Uh, yeah. Who are, who would you marry and who would you have as a girlfriend or you know that marry kill fuck thing. Who would you marry between the two though? If God said you can marry one. You don't none. know the outcome. You'd marry Rihanna. None. none. I said no. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, no, man. But we've seen Beyonce comes with a faithful, respectful wife. I life. wanna, but I, I'm just saying I wanna live. I'm not even thinking about both of them. I'm thinking about my real life. That's not a question no, that should be Beyonce, answered. No, but like quick fire questions are not about real life, dog. Can he pop it all go like? No, no, no. Uh, in the fantasy world, in the uh, fantasy. you know. Yeah, like maybe not maybe Beyonce. Like, I'm more of like a a jigger than a a Drake. Yeah. Mm. Generations like, are think... Oh, he's still there. Ah oh, shit! Generations, generations. Yeah, definitely. Why? Why generations? Generation was too much. Like <laughs> <laughs> generations, but like the old one, like it was too much. It was like eight o'clock. Yeah, it was talk like Tawmu Khale, Vivian Majozi, uh, you know, um Kabo Moroka, Kabo Moroka, check my pass, oh, come on. Playing <laughs> game. Ntiki. Mama Ntiki. Pamela Nombe. Ntiki Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yo, the Madonna <laughs> family. Yo, them shows. Yeah, that shit. Like those were actors and actresses. Like you know, like Pamela Nomvete was so good at her job. She once got slapped in the mall. Like this grandma saw, and it's like your devil is there. But she really is there with Barca. She also used to get slapped by white people, even. Yeah, yeah, but also, yeah, it's not the same thing. Ah, okay, sharp. Gomora or the river? The river, you, 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 you playing the river. Cobrizi. Uh. Cobrizi wali easy. Uh. Ah, who's the one that fell I get a pa. I get a pa, pa. Playing games. Yeah. Yeah, no, the river get out of here and wear a mark surf. <laughs> no, yeah, that one I don't even have to think about it. Okay, Shab. The river. Uh, ice cream or chocolate? Jeez. Fuck, I'm not even a big fan of... Fuck, I'm not... Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Yeah, because of the yeah the McFlurry, like yeah, yeah, ice cream. I'm not really a big fan of like. 
Huh? Which one do you like? Which which McLaren do you like the most? The Oreo McLaren, the original. My nigga. And then I asked them to put three extra scoops. I wanted to yeah. get the Oreos. Yeah, sometimes they need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they don't put oh, enough Oreos. Like, hey, Mona, what's this now? Yeah, okay. I'm yeah, gonna... baby mama was having it today. It's just too much. <laughs> like, I've been eating shit since I got here. Like, it's bad. You must go for a run. You know what it is. Skipping. You know what it is. You know what you need to do. Uh, I'm training. Are those flavors? Yeah, you know, I almost said it could be anything. Could be vibes. Yeah, chocolate. Like imagine a milkshake, like, a chocolate milkshake or a vanilla milkshake. I think chocolate because the, the other one is white. So. Which one tastes stay better? Home. No, which one do you like tasting? Amanda, okay. stay home. <laughs> okay, strawberry or vanilla? Strawberry. Okay, sharp. Uh, Vors or lamb chops? Vors, Vors. <laughs> Pop or Dombol? No, I thought of the... the you, Dombol. <laughs> you thought of the what? I thought of the the Vors rollers. Ish, what can you do with lamb chops? I was like, ah, it's just lamb chops. But now the Vors can be the Vors roll, and it can be just the Vors on its own, you know. And you can have it with the rice as well. It's too and much. You can chop it up, mix it up. You can do a lot. And you can make it means. No. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, I should have been the one to say Vors in this conversation, but let's move on. Uh, Snapchat or Twitter? Twitter, facts. Twitter is so dark. Why do you like Twitter? No, I'm like, what am I gonna do with Snapchat? You like the full? Me, I'm thinking Snapchat. money, like money. Oh, no, Twitter, no. you know, I build my profile. You know, I tweet for Samsung, I tweet for Power Play, I tweet for Ciroc. They pay me. You know, that's where I'm thinking. Snapchat. I never made a cent from it, you know what I mean? Mm. And yeah, just I don't even use it. Ciroc mango or Ciroc like mango everything. over everything. Over everything, okay. Uh, Facebook or Instagram? I know the answer, but I have to ask. Facebook. Yeah, the, yeah. you know I'm giving you jewels now. The Casper Vest brand was actually built on Facebook. So all these rappers are focusing on Twitter and Instagram followers. You are in the wrong place. That's not the people. The people are actually at Facebook, right? If you've got a, a, a big fan page on Facebook and it's very interactive and people interact with you on Facebook, that's when you that get the is. numbers. Yeah. So that's why our whole brand was built on Facebook. Um, me and a guy called Jude, who used to live in Australia at the time, opened the page uh and then i was just kissing with the guy then we opened a fan page for the brand and then we put some money in it every time we drop something you know we put a young two clip and a young five clipper to boost and then our followers went up like right now there was a time i remember major league was checking when i dropped my first album i had like 400,000 people talking about me on facebook when i dropped my first album yeah like, so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see you. You are one of them. So basically, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was, man. Yeah. yeah. So I, I always I always see people on Twitter like this in Facebook calling it the village. Hey, that side, the village. I'm like, you don't know. That's where the real people are. Like, that's what people know how to use. Like, there's kids in the townships, in the villages, and which is majority of South Africa, who know how to use Facebook more than they know how to use Twitter. And because of the way it, it works, the comments are in, it's like Instagram, but it's, it's also cheaper because it has less pictures, you know, so they have this option where they don't show pictures, which is cheaper with, with data. So people uh, uh, prefer to be on Facebook because they can also... you can just buy for WhatsApp or just buy for Facebook. Facts. Mm. So mm. Facebook is the business. Why is BT Africa laughing? Because they know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> um... Twitter or Facebook? The battle of... Nah, Facebook. 
Even still. Okay, Sharp. That's dope. Facebook over everything, bro. It's Facebook, then Twitter, then Instagram, then Snapchat. And I'm I'm talking business. But like if if you want to be a celebrity, you can be a celebrity on Twitter. I mean on on Facebook. I mean on Instagram. It's all good cuz it's pictures. But Facebook owns Instagram too, so it's also. still boss. Yeah. Well, Samsung also make me look like nice like this, like nicely like this. Even no, I really look like this. Nah, nah. I told you I'm the best rapper, best looking rapper in the country. Okay. I've got perfect teeth. I mean, come on. Connecting beer, but I'm uh, killing it. Come on. I'm even playing with it. Come on. <laughs> Did you see how my Oscar in my hair was all week? I just washed it now. You see tomorrow the waves are back. Come on, naturally. and you should see my son oh my god i have the most beautiful kid in the world in the fucking world like my son is so beautiful and i mean i know like 80% is cuz the mom but my 20% <laughs> my you see my 20% is too much <laughs> uh, yeah percent yeah usually the kid comes out with the eyes like the father it's like it's like child it's like proof that is your child yo my nose Yeah my eyes my chubby cheeks and my small lips but his lips really look like my father's lips but like he he's like a little me there's a picture of us like sleeping and he I was like man if i denied this kid you know what i be like no you hate cheek cheek like he really looks like me That's dope man. That's dope. Mm-hmm. How long how long how long you going to keep him protected? I think it's so important what you're doing. I, even me well, I want to I want to say I, do, I this child must be protected at all costs. Yeah, no. Nah. nah. I'm not going to do the Instagram no thing, mistakes. right? I think Yeah, like I think we're all excited. I think the moms also excited. But you know, we agreed a long time ago that we're not going to do the, like the Instagram thing like especially too much maybe one day i don't know i, I don't What think pampas comes with a 10 million bag who pampas mm, 10 million yeah, bag yeah this 10 this 10 million you're talking about chief <laughs> that is different <laughs> renegotiate and that's his money you know uh yeah right. so different because he just got a bag already uh so yeah like it needs to make sense but i don't think i'm going to show my child on social media because i i it, it's sensitive for me first of all it's the energy second of all people are evil you know you don't know what people are doing out there next thing they do on some voodoo shit just with the picture like you know like uh, i don't fuck with that thirdly i don't want to you know but we want to like you know when rafiki you know when rafiki did that you know mama the circle of life make it make it make it you that would have been great that would that would have been great if we were not living amongst witches you must understand like we we as much as all of us are like these nice people whatever we live amongst real witches like people who who practice witchcraft every day like don't forget this is africa like they dream this shit for real like and they don't think that they in the heart there they be playing on the no 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 a little bit uh, as much as i can you know i'm speaking about my partner because i don't want people to think it's some some shit that happened one day no this is some dog's plan do you know what i mean that's what i want people to know and also i'm just happy you know but i'm i'm careful because i know like once you start sharing that and they start seeing how much you care about it then you know you you giving them a platform you know to to disrespect you and i don't want nobody to disrespect my son imagine i post my child there someone just comes with a fucking comment could hey this one looks like innocent it's like <laughs> you know what i mean just, i already know like it's just i don't i'm not i'm not i'm going to enjoy my son with my family and everybody knows the deal you know my father had to fly here to come see him you know so uh it's 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 very private perfect 
like that. Mm -hmm. uh, two last three questions, and then we are outies. Uh, Tuto or yeah. any minute now? I heard the lyrics. Any minute album. now. I told you, any minute now. I like, you know. Didn't you see the poster I pictured of Rakhadi? Yeah. Where it with says, the yeah, Tuto is the best album. Then Rakhadi there? Yeah. Rakhadi, yeah. don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was bad. Like, uh, out of all my albums, uh, I think this one firstly has the most replay value. You can play it for a long time. Which alone. song surprised you? I've, I've walked out to your album three times, mind you. But yeah. uh, which, which, which reaction to which song surprised you the most? To whom it may concern. That's the biggest was, song on the album. In terms, were you surprised? In terms of streams? Yeah, I didn't think people would take it. You know what I thought? People, I thought people would be like, okay, he's back rapping again. I love this. And then moving to the album. But what happened was like, people were like, okay, he's back rapping, going to the album. And then they started applying that song to their lives, which is something I didn't. Yo, that's Togi T. You I guys saw see that. that. Yeah, I saw that. Togi T said some good work. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man, nice. Good job, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? I snapped. And you know Stogie, like... I know. Mm. I know, okay. you know, and, and he, doesn't, he doesn't have to do that. So I appreciate that, you know, because Stogie's one of the people that people diss me with, you know? It's like they always say, yeah, they always say, man, you know, you Castle's whack. I'd rather listen to Stogie. So when Stogie says that, it's like, all right, Stogie says Castle's nice. So Stogie's dope. It's, 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 it's dope. Yeah, I think he's the best rapper in the country. So let's go. It, uh, yeah, like, like, yeah. like by far, like, still <laughs> is the best rapper in the country by far. Like, it, like, nobody's even close, nobody raps or writes like him, you know no. what I mean? And in terms of rap, it, it's just not close, you know, he's, he's very far. So, when he said that about my album, um, I appreciate it, and th those are people that. I, I would love to write, like, grow into writing, like, because I'm still young, bro. Like, I'm, 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 I just turned 30. I've been doing this for a while, and I mean, and you can hear with my fifth album that I'm only progressing and I'm only getting better, you know. It's, it's not a lot of people who can say my fifth album was my best work, you know, or my, my, my recent album is my best work. So, um, yeah. When are we going to get a collaboration then? Make it happen. Fuck, you know what? I would love to 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 work with Stogie one day. It just needs to be the right song because uh, it's like there's just certain people that I'm intimidated by. Like you know, like I don't step in the studio with anybody. I need to find the song that's gonna not sound like I'm trying to. Out he would have been great for Egyptian yeah. Cotton. Facts, but it was personal. I thought about it. Because I wrote the first, I wrote the first break. No, no, let's leave that. It's a personal song. I I wrote the first verse and sent it to Anthony, and then on the second verse, because I sat on it for a while, I was like, maybe I should send it to Stogie. But I was like, man, this song is so personal. I talk about my baby mama, and so I was like, let me finish it. But me and Stogie would have to do a record like that, like some, some, you know, some some it's shit that you need to. Yeah, facts. Okay. And he's got the expensive things intergalactical no. writing. Pen. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just talking a special writing pen from like like for fifty thousand people with special. Ink. No, man, like the guy just has a fucking amazing vocab tone. Uh, shit, like he's 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 smart and he he knows how to rap so well and it's oh check it out check it out sorry this wasn't even planned sorry check it out check it oh out. all right Ooh. i see you right next, right next to, to the hair products right anyway so uh, yeah but you asked me about the song that shocked me to whom it may concern yes, so yes, i was yes. shocked that people would people took that song and made it like a situation in their lives like this is one dude who posted it um and later on i got the story that it's a guy who's like in construction and I thought he was just supporting. And then he shared a story with me about like a fallout that he had with his best friend. And when he's listening to this, it's, I was like, fuck, I didn't think of it like that. I was just writing 
my story. So it really shocked me. Mm. Mm. That's dope. It is dope. The whole album is dope. Um, last question is boxing or soccer? Ah, facts. Boxing. Ah, when about I business, want... soccer. What? Not even a year. No, ago. soccer. Well, wait. And you, you I love playing with soccer. soccer. What do you mean? I love playing soccer, but right now I'm more of a boxer than a, I'm a soccer player. I box more than I play soccer. You know what I mean? Are you a better soccer player yeah. than you are a better boxer, though? No, no, no. Uh, uh, yes, I'm a better soccer player for now. I'm still learning. I'm still, I'm still learning the boxing thing. So, I mean, I'm a better soccer player. I mean, Cipio Chavala said I could play in the PSL. Like, you know what I mean? Carizo Di Cacho was like, yo, you could actually go play nah, in the PSL. Nah, Cipio is just so, a fan and he wanted to say something nice. No, my man, Dr. Kumalo, hey, let me tell you. I played with Dr. Kumalo. <laughs> and after the game, he said, Kesper, you lie. You play somewhere. Tell the truth. I'm like, yeah, I play a little bit. He's like, no, I could see this guy is nice. So if doctor says I'm nice, I'm nice. With the boxing thing, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning a bit, but I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a beast. And if, I, if they had to say I'm fighting next week, I would drop a nigga though. But, you know, in terms of learning the whole art of it, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still, I was actually sparring yesterday and I broke a nigga's rib. So, it's lit. Facts. Facts. <laughs> I've got a punch. I've got a heavy punch. Explain to me why you're still smiling. You broke someone's like rib. Like God made. Yeah, the guy busted rib. my lip last week. We were sparring, and he busted my lip, right? So you and broke And then it was like, um, it's sparring. We 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 sharpening each other's skills. And I took my L last week. I said it's okay. You got me. I'm gonna see you next week. And then yesterday we got in the ring. <laughs> I gave him a big shot in the rib, and uh, you know. He he couldn't breathe for a little while. But I didn't like break it like he's in the hospital, but like he's in pain. I stopped him. He couldn't way, breathe for a while. I think I'm going to get my outfit from overseas. Like I'm hiring like a whole like oh I'm just gonna be wear the whole Rich Nisi collection for that night. Yo, this yeah. fight has yeah, this fight is, is prestige. You need to you need to come dressed up like like I think the the, the style icon and, and the the mood board for this fight needs to be uh, Cruella de Vil. Like for the ladies, like that's the vibe. You need to, it needs to be expensive. And for the guys, it's right. like 007, like James Bond, like all, like, all out, but like with chains. Godfather. I think Godfather, God you know? Yeah, Godfather is the vibe. Yeah. You need to come there in suits. Stogie's gonna come with his uh, cigar, you know? Cigar. It's gonna be lit. Are we gonna yeah, be that's to the vibe. Cigars, though. Or you can just hold it without lighting it, I guess. That's the vibe. Yeah, That's true. The vibe. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, dog, you better train. Yeah. You're fighting battles that are... They say, there's own. a comment that says, we say hospital and you live. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm definitely going to train. Like, I know there's a lot of people. I've got a whole son, bro. I don't want my son to see videos of his father getting beat up in the ring. So, and I've got, I've got a lot to... They say AK will break my rib. You are joking. Like he's going home in a stretcher. You playing games? <laughs> Do you think you, you? I feel like you have a to, you. You fight like Muhammad Ali with the gab, and then I feel like you're gonna come on a Mike Tyson with the punches. I oh, fight like right. Tyson. Yeah, I don't know if it's natural because I love Mike Tyson, but my style is really, really like Tyson. Well, maybe it's because I'm short, so I, 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 I end up like relying on my power, my legs, and yeah. So I, I do, I look like Tyson. I don't know if it's because I love him so much and I've watched him so much, so I'm trying to emulate him, or it just happened naturally. You're new at that night. I cannot wait. Fucked up. Mm. Yes, yes, I guess. <laughs> Is it that my Tyson, how, how he speaks? No, it's when you don't have the, the front teeth. They speak like that. They say silly things. Silly things are a bomb. But I won't lie. I'm going to hurt him. He needs to go with the heat. I really, that is going to happen. But anyway, guys. Did you just my do that, though? I, I know he's been boxing. I know he's been trying, he's been training. 
I'm gonna hurt them though. It, it's just it's gonna happen. It's gonna be fun to watch, guys. Uh, catch our interview at ten o'clock on BT Channel One Two Nine. Uh, behind the story, and do catch my album on iTunes wherever you you know stream it. It's time for any minute now. It's out. Uh, it's been getting dope reviews from a lot of dope guys, and uh, it's gonna be fun. And do stop wait. pirating music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, look out for the date for the fight. It's probably gonna be soon. I saw Cupcake today saying that they're opening a little bit, so maybe the fight might be this year. It would be dope if she is this year, so yeah, I could just so, so I can just finish this thing, drop the brew and move. Guys, here's the album. What? Get the album, guys. Look, it's lit. Features yes, the international what what woman at the I download this thing. It's very nice. This thing. So, download. what's your favorite song? Is it still Egyptian cotton? It's still Egyptian cotton. I, I'm enjoying Loco a bit more. There was Oh, you said Loco was your favorite song. Yes. And then yeah. I heard Young Specificity on the track while I was working out. I said, What? Hold on now. I had to change the beat for him. This song I enjoyed it while I was working out. Yeah, nobody Ace. nobody knows. Is this too dope? Ace. You came through there. Definitely came through. I enjoyed. I, I, I could. I could bet. I could bet that you can't decode my my verse. Nobody said we'd be here. You can't decipher it, and that's that's what I hate about South African hip hop fans, right? They never give me my props for my pen, and I say some crazy shit. <laughs> Superhero in real life. Like That's simple. Real nice. My Angelo, I still rise. That's so okay. simple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Decode. Yeah. I need you to decode that. The first line says, uh, "You kill me for four hundred years, now I kill Mike's, including Rosewood. You kill me for four fifty. I need you to, to, to decipher that, decode that. Repeat it? I'm, oh, there's the lyrics. Okay, wait. Yeah. Wait. Don't kill me for four hundred years. Now I kill Mike's. Are you are you, are you talking about the slavery thing and how you've turned it around? Yeah. And then the next the next line says, including Rosewood, y'all kill me for four fifty. Okay, so, so y'all took the partners and now I kill Mike's. Yeah. Is Mike's like white people? <laughs> no, nah, like okay. actual Mike's. Yeah. Okay. Including Rosewood, y'all kill me for 450. Rosewood isn't like what you put on the cut in. Now I feel like I don't understand. Including Rosewood, y'all kill me. All right, so Rosewood is a, it's a, it's a town, right? In Florida. Where after four hundred years of slavery, like basically black people started their own, they had like an economy that was like self sufficient, had their own bakeries and stuff, and it it was uh, you know they had some of the most uh, wealthy black men living there because they were self sufficient, living on their own products basically, and they were doing this for fifty years without the help of black, uh, white people. And uh, you should Google the Rosewood Massacre. And then they came and burned everything down. So I took the 400 years of slavery, and then I took the 50 years in Rosewood, and then I put them together. So that's why I say, including Rosewood, I came in for 450. So that should have told you that you can't fuck with me, because after slavery, I was still able to build a whole economy without you niggas. I mean? So it's fire. So in the beginning of the verse, I say, sweeter the juice, the blacker the murubele. They resonated as soon as Kulani said it. And then the last line says, you could get shot by the ops or you could get shot by the cops. So when I opened, I actually opened Kuli's line because Kuli's was shot, was shot by the cops. Shame. Is this going to be on Genius? Because that's where I decode stuff, if I don't understand. I go to Genius. Have you told Genius the stuff? I mean, I don't think Genius would know Kuli, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but you must help them out. You must actually send the decodation so that us, we can go there and help with the decodation there because that's genius. When I don't understand, I go to genius. I actually have the app on my phone. It's not on my iPad. 
I have the app on my phone. So please send Yo, genius. Send genius the things they got. It's that when, I, when I decoded the verse, you thought of genius because I am one. <sighs> yes, friend. <laughs> He's punishing me with like... <laughs> You are a fucking genius. You are a fucking legend. I don't know how beats you. Thank you. This. You're a legend. You're a genius. You're super handsome. You're going to be an incredible father. You are an incredible father. Um, you have an incredible woman by your side. You have incredible family um, as part of your arsenal. Um, and I hope you keep on using the pen as your weapon um, and your brain. Guys, Kespa, like, I thought I knew him. But in that interview, I was like... Oh my God, like I learned so much about you as a friend who thought I, you know, that I knew you quite well. And I was, by the way, I was listening to something today called You Are a Badass. And I like listen, listening to audio books while I jog. And a lot of that book actually reminded me, me of you and another friend of mine who's busy becoming a billionaire in New York. Like she's always believed she's going to be a billionaire. And she always kind of self-talks herself. And people are sometimes never going to understand you or they are going to challenge your positivity because it makes them uncomfortable because for them it's not normal what you're doing and the more i listened yeah. to that book the more i was like you know this book it's like kespa helped this girl write it or maybe he heard the book before he really had this type of energy for himself so shout out to you for that um but this is only the beginning for you my friend for you and the thank young you. by there i'll yeah, see you at thank you shop 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 thank you everybody for tuning in peace out is a pamal one they can shop peace <laughs> <This> guy. <laughs> guys make sure you get any minute now it really is a really really good album we break some of the music down like how he was just decoding the song we um we really talk he sent me five tracks before they were out which is a big risk on his part but i didn't want the interview to come out and i hadn't listened to the tracks so that we could like talk about the tracks um and he sent me five tracks you'll see me talk about them on the show um if they're not there we are actually making a special edition just for any minute now because he really gave a lot of his time it was super super dope it's gonna be amazing um and yeah 10 o'clock one hour and 18 minutes i have been your lala get your snack get everything you need and let's get going and all the questions you have about ricky rick and iris and all of that they are dealt with on the show you know how we roll behind the story bet africa 10 p.m see you there bye